you have to burrito wrap your French drain system for success. This is inch and a half round rock, and there's big voids in between all that round rock. Inch and a half round rock is the preferred aggregate of the French drain man team, and we really, really encourage everybody to use round rock for the voids. Now, if you don't burrito wrap your French drain system, it will not last forever. You're going to end up having to hire that same chuck in a truck to come in and and take your money again as he tells you well you know 10 years is good for a french drain you know well yeah when the dirt is filling those voids that move water that's what keeps your flow rate up and the more dirt when you don't burrito wrap it the more dirt that fills those voids you lose your flow rate the drain works less and less every year until one day it just don't work anymore so the message here is you have to burrito wrap your system. All the engineers are telling us this. All the new road construction is done with burrito wrapped French drain systems. And yes, here at French Drain Man, we progress with technology. We got the, as you know, the double punch fabric with the highest flow rating. I'm in Macomb County on Hall Road. They're putting French drains underneath the new road. They're redoing Hall Road. And there's a lot of money being spent and they're doing it the right way. Now the fabric that we use in our French drains, we always try to educate our clients and tell them, look, you don't want to use a landscape fab fabric. A landscape fabric does not drain. Weed barrier, fabrics that are meant for, you know, structural strength behind a retaining wall, things like that. They're, they're not intended for a French drain. So, you want to buy a filter fabric that's intended for a drain system. This is the same fabric that we use. They're running six inch. And it looks like they got it spaced out 15 to 20 feet. And they're putting a bed of sand down. Over top of this, they're going to put a highway fabric and then lay the limestone down, then roll that, compact that, and then pour the concrete over it. Here's one of our systems 10 years later. The homeowner was so happy with how dry their backyard is, they now have us putting a drain in the front yard. What you see, that's roots from grass plants. You got different sizes depending on what if it's bluegrass it's a vertical tap root certain grasses have rhizomes where the roots they come through the fabric and then they they grow along with the fabric no matter what as long as the root comes through the fabric that's how water finds its way into our french drain system so here's a system 10 years old. Here's one of our fabric pins that initially held the fabric in place. And the roots really are not developed right now like they will be in another month. It's early spring, the grass is waking up. It's pretty, pretty dormant really. And we don't even have a lot of color. I mean, you can see how the grass is not lush, you know, it's just early spring. But the reason why our fabric drains so well and it works better and better over time as the development of roots grow through our double punched fabric with two different size holes so that you can get those little roots in there that are a thread and they can expand and keep that hole, that punched hole in the fabric that we use so that water is free to flow down it. Now, this isn't magic, this isn't like a mystery, but for some reason, there's just a lot of people out there that just don't wanna believe in it. They don't wanna believe in it, they'll throw mud on it and say, look, water don't go through it. Well, we don't ever show a video of us throwing mud on our fabric. It's not a big deal if there's some dirt on our fabric. We grow grass on our fabric 
or we put more stone on top. The same stone that's underneath the fabric we'll put on top and it's called an open French drain. I have many videos showing that technique. Both work great. If you grow turf grass on your French drain and you have a double punched fabric like ours, and look, this is 10 years old. Look how, look at the shape of this fabric. This is four ounce. I wanna also mention that. This is four ounce fabric. Look at that. Nice, huh? Really good shape after 10 years. I mean, I really had to saw through that with a sharp blade knife so that I can peel this back and unearth this fabric, this 10 year old fabric. You can see how clean it kept the French drain. You have the voids that move water open, so there's no dirt. No dirt migrated into this French drain system. It's probably cleaner than the day we put it in because the dirt washes through the inlets on high octane. And when this was installed, we used eight slot yellow. So same thing, the dirt washes through the inlets and the pipe carries it out. So you can see this, this stone is cleaner than, than it's ever been. Honestly, since it's seen daylight, it hasn't been this clean, okay? So we unearthed it, we exposed it, there's no dirt in it. The water travels through these open voids. Gravity carries the water down these tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of roots. And in the fall, when it goes dormant, and slows down, it's not as aggressive, the roots recede. The hole becomes enlarged for fall showers and spring showers. It takes a while for, right now this is dormant. These are very fine. You know, we have spring rain and the holes are wide open. This is performing very well. So our drainage systems by design work better once all the grass roots have grown through the double punch fabric. Don't let anybody tell you different. They just don't know any better. Now there's many different types of fabrics out there, so beware. I've been told by subscribers, Menards doesn't drain worth a crap. You know, they're not punching the fabric. Non-woven geotextile fabric, that is such a broad category. We're talking tens of thousands of fabrics out there. And it's really rare to get one that's punched, let alone double punched. And I know this because I know how hard it was to get a manufacturer to do it. I literally had to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars and just make large purchases, large purchases of fabric. So luckily, because we put so much in the ground, we were able to get it double punched. So anyways, there's a sod pin. Look at it, it's pretty... You know, another 10 years, it's going to be gone. But it did its job. And so is the, the turf roots. Yep. Just like all our work, you can't even tell. So I'll come back and I'll mend that with a new piece of fabric. I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, until the next video.